When it comes to an MBA, location can mean everything because the length of the course, job opportunities, and cost of education, among other factors, differ by country and will ultimately play a part in making your decision. Here is a breakdown of how an MBA can differ in the US, Europe, and Canada. In the US, the average length of an MBA is between 21 and 24 months. The cost of education here is high. However, with a scholarship or financial aid, it is possible for you to receive some support in this area. While your GMAT score is important, factors such as academics and work experience are also weighed heavily. To apply for an MBA, you should have worked for some years. Typically, applicants have 3-5 to five years of work experience. MBA application deadlines are a couple of times a year, usually spanning 3-4 to four rounds. To make sure that you are prepared for this lengthy process, it is advisable that you start at least a year in advance. Your career prospects in the US after your MBA might also influence your decision. Here, you are allowed to stay back for 12 months after the program for optional practical training. You can also take up an internship between year 1 and 2 of your course. If you plan on staying abroad after your MBA, it is important to factor in the competitive job market here. U.S. universities are high in brand value. So if this is important to you, then the U.S. is a great place to consider. Canada, on the other hand, is slightly different in comparison to the U.S. The courses can take anywhere between 16 and 24 months, and the cost of education is not as high as the U.S. You can receive financial support here as well. However, the amount will usually be less than that of the U.S. Depending on the business school you apply to, the average GMAT is usually lower than that of a U.S. business school. The application cycle mimics the U.S., so make sure you plan at least a year ahead. A major difference between Canada and the U.S. is in terms of stayback opportunities. Depending on the course duration, you are granted a visa for anywhere between 2-3 to three years, allowing you enough time to job hunt. If you are sure you want to settle away from home, then Canada is your best option. Finally, let's talk about an MBA in Europe. An MBA program in Europe is usually 12-16 to 16 months long. The cost of an education here is less than the US or Canada, and scholarships are rare. In Europe, people with a considerable amount of work experience are preferred. As such, GMAT scores are given less importance. However, it is difficult to stay back and continue working after your program, as you are usually given a maximum of one year to find a job. Remember, there may be a language barrier that could also influence your job search. European MBA programs usually have multiple rounds, rolling applications, and can even have two intakes. However, you should still plan a year ahead and prepare yourself for potential essays. If you are a person who knows what you want to do after an MBA and are not particular about staying back, this is the space for you. At the end of the day, Choose the location of your MBA program based on your goals, the course curriculum, and your unique profile. It's all about fit.